So it's summertime up here in Appalachia, and one of the most common things that you can get here in the summer is poison ivy. But there's a cure for that, and it's a simple plant to identify, and I'm about to show you what it is if you'll follow me right down here. Now this plant right here is called jewel weed. A lot of people know, uh, also know it as jack in the pulpit, and it grows in uh, wet areas like this uh, creek bottom that we got right here, I like shade, you know, full shade, and you can see it's a, it's a real lush type vegetation, so it likes really wet environments. The chemicals that are in this plant destroys the active ingredient in poison ivy that makes your skin itch and uh, blister up and stuff like that. So there's two ways that people use jewel weed up here in Appalachia, and one of those methods is to eat this plant. It's a, a pot herb, kind of like spinach leaves. You can cook it up and eat it the same way you would spinach. And a lot of people think that if you eat the plant, that it gives you a resistance to poison ivy. And also you can make a poultice out of this, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So basically to make a poultice, what you need is a mortar and pestle. And if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can just use two stones or two pieces of wood. Now this whole entire plant is usable, but I usually just use the leaves. And to make a poultice, all you gotta do is crush the plant up. You're trying to crush it into a mush. And it's the chemicals in that juice that destroys the active ingredient in poison ivy. Once you turn this into a poultice and you've smashed it, you can apply it to the affected area. You can just rub it on just, just like I'm doing right here. Or if you think you might have a severe case of it, you can make a patch out of it and tie that onto the affected area. So not only is this a perfect cure for poison ivy, it's also a food. And it's an important resource up here in Appalachia and a lot of people eat it. Pretty good. <laughs>